Welcome to Hacking Arcade ROMs, Lesson 5, Part 5, Never Losing Your Credits. In this lesson, we are going to show you how to find out where the credits are decremented when you start the game and make sure you never lose credits. Let's begin. So, now we've added credits to the game when the game starts automatically, so we have seven credits. And if we play the game, just hit one to start the game. I'm going to go ahead and kill my frogger guy here. And you see the credits go down to six. Okay, because a normal game in the arcade, when you play a game, you, you lose a credit. And you have to put more quarters in. I'm just going to reset the reset it here back to seven. Okay, so now the next step in that free play hack is to make sure you don't lose your credits when you play a game. So, we know that the memory location that holds the credits is 83E1. So it's a very simple way to find out what's decreasing the credits. Um, we're going to put a watch point on that. Okay. So we'll just do a WP set 0x 83E1 1 because we just want that address and write because we're interested when something writes and it takes away the credit. And usually it does this when the game starts. Okay, so we have watch point one set and it's going, we haven't hit um, the start button yet. So let's hit the start button. And you see it immediately stops. Okay, it says stopped at watch point one, writing byte uh, 83E1, data six. So it's, it's decreasing the credit from seven to six. And the program counter is 397. 397, this is the step after that the write happened. So the write happened here, where it says load 83E1 with A, which makes sense, right? The A3E1 is a credit. It's getting the credit counter in memory. It's getting overwritten. A is 6 right here, okay? So um, that's where the write happens. But somewhere along the line, we, it has to read the credit counter and then decrement it. And we can actually see it happening right here. Um, the sub C is actually what's doing it because remember when you do a subtract it's always from a so I'm betting that C is going to have you know a credit for one player start and a credit for two players start let's actually delete our watch point with WP clear and then rather than do a watch point let's just do a um, break point up here at 392 so we'll do a BP set 0x 392 restart the game I'm just gonna hit F3 to restart it all together okay we're back to seven credits and so let's hit um, one to play one, start a one player game. And you see here, sub, actually we can see up here, load the credit counter, 83E1 to A, and it compares C, but here we go, sub C. Okay, so it's gonna have A, which has our credit counter, which is seven right now. And you can actually see that A is currently seven. And C, if we look at C, is one. So it's gonna subtract one from seven, don't worry about this instruction DAA, that's just, um, for some reason it holds the credits as what's called binary coded decimal, and this converts A to what's binary coded decimal form. Don't worry. And then you see it writes back A to our credit counter. Um, so let's just make sure that if we hit two player start, that C is actually two. So I'm gonna hit F3 to restart again. Okay, so back to seven credits. I'll hit two to start two player game. And sure enough, C is two here. So this is what's doing it. This is uh, this is loading our credit counter. Um, C whatever somehow it gets loaded up here. With it knows how many you know, we wanted a one or two player game. You could probably scroll up and see that too. But um, oh, here you go. See so load two, C two, and um, or load C one depending. There's probably a branch somewhere up here. So it's loading a one or two depending on whether we plus pressed one player start or two player start. Um, subtracting one or two from A, and then it's eventually writing it back. So how can we make sure it never, you know, decreases things? Well, we could do a couple things. We could do a sub zero rather than a sub C, but that actually would require um, us to actually, that the byte code for sub zero would be actually two um, bytes, the, the a machine code, and that would mess things up. There's an easier way. There's um, an assembly language there's usually a special operation called a NOP, no operation, N-O-P, and which does literally nothing. And on the Z80, it has a NOP. It's, it's um, literally the byte zero, zero. So 
all we have to do is ensure that we never subtract anything from our credit counter here at 392. We'll just put a NOP here instead, and then it will do everything and just never actually subtract the data. It will still write back the data and all that, so the code will be effectively the same. Um, we're just going to make sure it never decreases the counter. So let's go ahead and NOP that up. Okay, so I'm going to close my window here. And I'm going to bring in my hex editor. And I'm going to edit the, edit the Frogger 26 ROM. So here we go. We'll just open with Hex Workshop. So we said the address of that instruction was 0x392, right? So all we're going to do is we're going to put the knob, which is a 0. Okay. Save it. And let's start up MAME again. So we got MAME running. Let's put a breakpoint on 392. And let's go ahead and try it, make sure it works. So I hit at one to start a one player game. And notice, rather than being that sub C now, it's NOP, NOP. And so we have the credit counters, um, A is, is still a seven. So when it gets written back, because we're not subtracting, we're NOPing instead. So we'll hit just F11 a couple times. You can see here, it's gonna write back seven back to 83E1, okay? So it didn't decrease our credits. Let's just verify that by playing a game, killing ourselves and make sure our credits don't go down. So I'm gonna actually remove my breakpoint, do a BP clear, and uh, hit F5 to continue on. We'll kill our frogs here. And sure enough, we still have seven credits. So there you are. Um, we now have really the fundamentals of a free play hack. We have credits automatically when we start the game, and we have make sure we never lose credits. So effectively, we can play forever for free. Um, now, you know, there's a couple of things you might want to do um, at this point. Maybe clean this thing up a little bit. This is the functionality that you want. And so you have all the functionality, but you probably want to now make a nice title screen for free play rather than credit seven. You probably want to get rid of the credit seven and just put like free play right down here. Okay, so that's it for this part of the lesson.